What's up, guys? Welcome to part five. Spider-Man 2. Let's swipe left over the FNSM app. Switch to Peter Parker. Doing whatever he's doing. Okay. Hey, Pete. You ready to come by the foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. And I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest-looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Let's hope. Can't wait to see what Harry's been up to. <laughs> Dude, these, this, this, these uh, web wings are sick. Dope edition. to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely! Thanks. In a little bit. Wow. Emily May Foundation. I was wondering what this place was. <laughs> So I don't think Harry knows where Spider-Man. So that's a little, little thing there. <laughs> that's Emily's tree. This is perfect. Aww. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less. This Emily May the one who, you know, he That's made sweet. all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> Norman. So, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board. This place is really going to start cooking. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> Particle accelerator. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh, really? But I was going to give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, Seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. <laughs> Have fun. He's a human too. I don't know. He said he's done some, some fucked up shit, but he's a he's a good guy. <laughs> Sweet, he named it after Bay. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Every Harry, this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? It's Diverted sick. my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. This is amazing, dude. This game is beautiful. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? Yes, yes, sir. He must be 
Peter, it's so nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. Are these little bees? The food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed huh. an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? Yeah. We had an RCB? Whoa, oh man. This is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The oh, that's sick. The better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves and not hurt them. Hear that, little bee wolf? You still get to pollinate another day, too. Oh, nice! Combo shit. Yes. Here we go. Okay, okay it's not real. <laughs> yep. This is pretty sick. Dude, this is the kind of technology a PS5 gets you, you know what I mean? This is, uh, this would've been... Oh, yeah! Probably a lot, I don't know. I don't know about the PS4, but it looks really well the PS5. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, why not? I think I'm getting the hang of this. I knew you'd be good at this. I'm in beesness. Okay, shut up. Those virtual <laughs> bee wolves you just took out were real? You'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Well, I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. Hard. Starting to sell it hard, huh, Harry? <laughs> I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. He did name it after me. It kind of feels like I had something else. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. Wow. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Oh, Dr. Uh, Kurt Totters. Any chance you can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Doctor is the lizard. Dad yeah, believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call. But, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. So, he's been the lizard, but definitely do it again. Yeah. Well, Norm is the Green Goblin, not in this universe, well, by at least. Remain a mystery. 
How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. Hmm. So we call Miles as a character. I mean, this is so much to see here. Yeah. Where do I even start? Imagine coming to work here every day. It's almost too good to be true. Let's start paying off the mortgage. Yeah. Uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way? Gotta think this through before signing on. Washington, your lab supplies have arrived. Please dial operations. Did you see the monthly schedule update? After hey, what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road-ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Asteroids, meteoroids, meteors, and meteorites. I think we should move up to the It's space. Lobby. My favorite branch of science. Lobby. <laughs> I like physics. Physics is, uh, is pretty cool. I should explore as much as I can right now. Already been in B zone. Show complex group decision making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will help beekeepers support healthy swarming without invasive observational techniques for optimal health and reproduction in our beleaguered bee population. Will be held in the atrium. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. You know, we have to explore more. This is awesome. The need for medical organ transplants far outnumbers available donors. An innovative solution uses 3D printing technology to create custom replacement organs. 3D print organs? Of transplant rejection and increasing the chances of a successful outcome. That's... ballsy. I don't know if I'd want a 3D printed work. I mean, if I don't want to die, that's a choice. That's, um... Welcome to space research. That's, this is... I wonder if any of this stuff could be implemented in real life. Hopefully someone's watching. This is just a beautiful building. Yo, Harry. What's up, man? You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Yeah. I do miss the now? Yuri Spider-Man. Top whatever. floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. That's so awesome, put your way dude. back helmet on and think back even before high school to middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah. I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. Hey. So calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm-hmm. Dr. Foster, 
Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. Yeah. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Ah, uh, there we go. This is sick. Especially like the dot on thing in the first game. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Please. Listen, I know Sun you're not officially water. on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Wait. Center, 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 center. <laughs> if I want to have uh, it has to be yellow, actually. Then blue on the left. Well, work, work, work. Yeah. Nice. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. It might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, if she's not giving me an office. Impressive, but not show off. He's very much pushing me to it. Our office. Yeah. Harry, now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. We you you gotta do it, man. Not until you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come I mean, on, this is. Your badge? You'll need it to get in. Pretty impressive. I feel like we kind of have to to work here now. He named it after the bay. Give us our office. <laughs> Wow. This is what we've been looking for, Pete. Oh. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it.
you join me? There's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> One quick thing. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> awesome. Oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the locations, and your badge will grant you access. <laughs> All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but... I've been there, man. Yeah, Trust yeah, yeah. Me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. Thank you, Miles. This is a really wholesome episode so far, guys. That car does not care for traffic laws. You didn't know New York had a drift seat. Big mistake, Spider! Oh, man. Okay. Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong? Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, man, we were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Glittering? Come on, man. Yo. Okay. Yo. You have an invisible cam? The instinct. Arachnid, come on. Now have your boss from the main get this kind of tech. A true hunter knows how to come up. You could have just said, I don't know. These, these things are hard to get. You get the humans first. Or as human as these things are. The humans. Where'd that guy go? Matt and Argy. They're enjoying their freedom. That's not ominous at all.
Okay. Should take a look around. What do we have here? Let's look at this stuff. Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Oh. Okay, nice one, Peter. When I'm an Emily May. <laughs> the adrenaline. No, 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 no. You're, you're slow to be spidey. Wait. Is he gonna make Miles the only Spider-Man? Okay, cool it, Parker. Daydream about those bad science stacks later. Time to chase. That side stacks. Yeah, I guess Peter's mind is gonna transition up, up and you won't get away. out of Spidey and have it be Miles only. Worthy of your attention. That's your guess. You know, I've got nothing against Gargan. I'm just saying I've kicked his butt a few times. And yet you always held back. By not killing him? Yeah, killing really isn't my thing. <laughs> yeah, killing isn't my thing. As we absolutely throw people off the sides of buildings. <laughs> now, where's your boss? Another robot. Maybe I can test something out. is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh. Is that your home? Location to MJ. Maybe she can dig up some building records. Where are we going now? Hey, MJ, did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait, uh, this buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city. Like, whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just... vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I'm gonna find out. Good luck. So it's for Spider-Man to find out. I need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. I heard something. We gotta drop one of them away. That's one. What you looking at? Uh, 
That was fast. You find something? Two things. This armed group calls themselves hunters. And they've got a lot of accents. Hmm. International mercenaries? That's what I'm thinking. Could be front page material for your article. I'm writing it up now. Thanks. Oh, and speaking of work, I accepted Harry's offer. That's fantastic. We should celebrate later after you're done with your current work. Totally. Talk soon. Maybe they are. You got so many takedowns. Holy shit. Send this to Genki, but he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? And why? Yeah, Just make sure the beasts have the right scent. You hungry too? Let's go. Aw, for me? You shouldn't have. Grappling coach. Oh, sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. We equip that into our webs. Yes. Wow. 
What's the deal doing? I started here. Trying to figure out where his powers came from, or how to get them for himself. An inner demon mask. Lee's old superpower gang. Craven better not be trying for the same with his hunters. Aunt Maid was so proud of her work at Feast. Lee broke bad in a big way. I just hope that doesn't mean everything he ever touched was corrupted. Hallucinogens. Probably the worst part of Scorpion's poison. If Craven's adding this to his arsenal, ugh. that's the Tiara Apitai. One of the rarest flowers in the world. Its extract has some pretty powerful medicinal properties. I tried to get some years ago to counteract Scorpion's poison, but couldn't afford the flights to Riotea? Guess Craven could. Is this something? Uh, yeah. Dr. Farley Stillwell? His genetic experiments gave Scorpion his abilities. Craven sure does his research. You better to hunt the spider than a scorpion. Yeah, I really don't like this. Were they testing their weapons on that armor? And not a single scratch? Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. <laughs> Would you look at that? Hey, MJ. I have another name for you. Craven. Seems like he's the boss of these guys. And he's here on some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. How many more fires must we light out in the city? As many as we need to. Craven said they surrounded him in his dream. But if his dream is accurate, bloody hell. He'll sleep it off. I was worried Lee wouldn't have any spirit left in Spiders up above! Oh, yeah. Shoot him! Oh, my God. 
really should have done this quietly. some answers Jeez. instead of questions right now that looks promising all right craven what are you looking for wait i get bringing scorpion and lee on a hunt but black cat's a thief uh oh i don't Never gonna win best in show with that attitude. Oh man. Nice doggy kitty robot. Okay then. Those teeth are no joke. How do I beat these things? Shit. I just sit here and just parry everything. the wrong button. <laughs> that. Those teeth are no joke. <laughs> Heal. Roll over. Play dead. <laughs> Oh, 
Captain, what's Craven hunting? Maybe I can help. Probably should have healed there, but... The beast! Is that what they're called? It seems they're making it more annoying to fight the adults. So let's just get rid of them. Everyone, if someone just filled me in! Craven hunts what man fears most. That's all you need to know. Oh! So he's hunting failure? Intimacy? <laughs> clowns! It's clowns, isn't it? Good riddance, I say. Okay. What were you protecting? Scorpion, Martin Lee, Black Cat. This Craven guy's putting together quite the team. There he is. Sad man. He's immune to Scorpion's hallucinogens. Is this the best you can do? They said you were a killer. Imagine my disappointment. <laughs> Killed Scorpion. He's not teaming up with supervillains for some hunt. They're his prey. Felicia, 